Okay, so we're very glad to have Charles Walker talking today about terms and derivatives of polynomial functors by negation. Thanks. So I'll start by just giving some uh, background. So I'll remind you of that polynomials and polynomial functors end to that, uh, sorry, distributivity pullbacks and their properties, which we'll use today as part of our thought. So I'm going to define a negation operator. And use this to define a uh, dense flows of polynomial factors, factors in this. Charles, if you could, well, just try and shout out a let Your sounds good here, but just the online sound okay. is not too great. So if you could try and shout out a little bit. So then I'll define a uh, terms of polynomials. Then I'll mention the uh, dense mono. The localization. Sorry. And then if I have to jump in, should I want to talk a little bit about on derivatives of coordinate functions? Okay. And then I'll just remind you about polynomials. Right, so if we're given a category E, which is a uh, length of the close, and a polynomial. Diagram the shape. We need to be well as the shape of and partner. So I am the same. And one way we'll think of this as a set of the input variables. So this day as the number of outputs. Okay, and if we're given that polynomial like this. We have an associated polynomial functor. Given a element to be on slice to be on I, this, and this will not be. 
Okay, so for example, maybe your I would be your input variables might just be like X and Y, right? And maybe you have say two outputs, X O and set. And in that case, you, you could write down a, a many variable polynomial, maybe X by Y, but with say two outputs, so X by Y and You can write down what I mean, say two inputs, two outputs, or as a diagram. Well, so this, this multi variable case is a bit more complicated, so in this talk, we're just going to focus on the simple case when both the i and j are the common objects in the Okay? Goes around this UMP. Terminal pullback. 
There's a round. Mark this means a diagram. This is so what this terminal means. Pull back around. What does it mean to be a terminal pullback that goes around UMP? It means that there's many other pullbacks. Many other pullbacks pull back, pull back around here. Okay. I think that's where it's uniquely through this uh, universal thing. So another way to say it would be to consider the category where all the objects are pullbacks that go around U and P. And by default, it's in that category just being sticking a pullback on top of a diagram like that. And the specific pullback is defined as a, as a terminal object in that category. Okay? And we have just some facts about the pullback. Firstly, if your category is really possible to close, that's the same thing as saying we had all the environment uh, restrictions for that. Right, and so if you prefer to think in terms of like the right edge onto the pullback functor, then the distance of pullback is just uh, this side. Right, so this arrow on the right can be part of P of U. And this arrow right here is going to be coming from this uh, high unit of the adjunction between pullback and the pin of product. Okay. Other facts. So if you always want more to move, then a part of the U must be yours. Also, this is the right domain. That's the right domain. There's another problem with money market rooms. Right? It says P is money. P is money. P is money. P is money. So this implies that this F is money. P is money. So in the case when you're tying along a monomorphism, the system should be pulled back to this here square. That's the extra coding hour of the model. Where the name comes from, superfluidity pullback? Uh, from this composition of polynomials, or where was the polynomial? I mean, so we can make a gist of Mark Weber this, this name, but I think it's because of what's called like push forward.
in street, well, just while you're rubbing it out, in raw street show, you could also get this composition using thinking of polynomials as sort of spans of spans. Yeah. And if you think in terms of spans of spans, do you see distributive? Do you see the distributive the distributivity pullbacks from another he does perspective? He does mention that. Okay. And now I'm going to assume that E is a matrix I can invoke again, but I'm also going to assume that we have a uh, initial object, so zero. Okay. Do you say what is what you mean by strict? If I just mean any arrow into it, it has to be invertible. Okay, we'll define negation for the core this right here of an arrow. A, the, the, the 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 around zero. I'm, I'm going to call this the B set minus one to P just because that's what it turns out to be in set. Sorry, not P. Right, remember the initial object is strict, and the object consists of the AR is just available. Right. Why does that? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Right, so let's give an example of this negation. Yeah, what, what is the next negation? Um, I mean, this is arrow, not P, but yeah, but there are uh, so right, so given, say, polynomial P, then what's the like, function of the polynomial? Just in case. This arrow we're having to pull back on the edge. There is the image. So this. Remember, I mentioned this example before. That the constant terms come from the patterns of um, size zero, right? And those are precisely the two things that are outside the image, right? Which is this. So if you know. We're already trying, trying to see that all these things like terms of polynomials, they all come from this negation operator. And actually, it is turned out to be true for, for all of the things you are terms aside from linear terms. This is right. Later on, better making some facts about negation. So that constant term stuff, that just makes sense for set, does it? When well, that, 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 that's a good, this is a good question I'll talk about later on. Okay. Wait, what's the definition of a term in general case, yeah? Okay. So, so some 
Okay, it comes up right now. So, I come in as mom and I'm man. So, on the line of office, this is my object. Right, so you have a map set P into the center of P. This is my map P, which I guess that's very much in which is what what's it? Next next to the main. Look at the position by Cadre. That's only really one example that I'll use quite a lot later on. Is this by the diagonal map? Right, so let's take the diagonal map. Okay, so from E into the kernel pair on P. Let's go back to the P with itself. Let's take the of that. And I'm going to keep referring to my this as this E square E in the So, what is the address of the diagonal? It's just going to be all the distinct pairs. So in the header of sets at least, as P1 and P2, P1 and P2, other objects of format, and P1 has to be the same. And then maybe just put a random handle on what this display in is, plus we'll use it this time later on as well. Um, so in sets, I suppose these are always also push out squares, and it's probably not always true, right? In all of the right, plus. so that, that's to do with this decide doing stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Later on. Yeah, no, no, no. Later on. I think the mega will put that against closed double factorization system. Let's do the test. Right, so we're given the map. This key going to be B. And what we can do is take the negation of the negation. We can also remember that the pullback of P and not P is zero. That's the thing. Right, and that gives you another the pullback that goes around. Right, so this is one of these pullbacks around, which means we have these increased maps. So given any map P, we have this canonical factorization. Take the addition. Let's say that a map F is uh, closed. When a not no 
of f, strengthening of f. What, what kind of topology is defined seems to be closed by a single closed sign closure? Then when the negation of f is zero, right? And zero here means a map from the short. I can tell this is the same thing as saying that um, not, not f is a map from the short. Here is <coughs> yeah, any way to the category. Initial. Then the saturation. Now K. This one. What's a stable? What do you mean by stable again? Could you right, say? so by stable I just mean everything is going to back stable. Right, so try to not put a match out to the right part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the two dead snaps are also pull back stable. So you just have a text and axioms that show up in the uh, not what you're entangled here. Yeah. I'm saying um, this, this is not a type box, it's just we can have some questions and questions to the special object. But what we do at least have all the properties that you'd expect of a I would be a tiny for me, the size of the acre. You can have a pleasure for a bar, if not, if not, not a, but a size. So definitely for any a, you have one of the more What was the first one supposed to indicate? Oh, so it's just that there exists a monomorphism from any other. That's it.
no, no, twelve. Remember, you know the paper of Clemens Berger, where he looks at how to construct factorization systems from certain sort of closure operators on slice categories and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and just maybe it's somewhere connected yeah. to the com the comprehension factorization system. Something like that. Now I'll talk about uh, terms of polynomials. Sorry, I just have another question. Yeah. Uh, so you define this for all a, not just for mon, not just for monic a, right? Well, it's main. Please give any one more because from a into some object x. Ah, uh, you, you assumed it's a monomorphism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I think John was asking you for like what was the definition of the term of a polynomial in the general case. Right. So normally you, you just take it for granted that you can read off the terms of a polynomial. But in general, it's like not even clear what the definition is of a term. If you consider the category of all diagrams like this, and the, the, the term of polynomial will, will be defined as the terminal diagram at some form. Okay. So, one I'm taking. So, 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 the bottom part and sigma is fixed, and. Yes, yes, so this sigma is fixed, and this is just correcting that. Yeah. Right, and so you could consider the, the category of all diagrams like this and the morphism like inner category is then sticking like pull back from top. And the term of object in that category is the term. Okay. Can oh, you say again how you get this? I'm oh, sorry. I, I, right. it's like, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's always that it's, it's looks like you yeah, consider the category of all diagrams that look like this. And then a morphism in that category is sticking a pull back on top. Is a morphism of polynomial. We want the terminal objects in that category. Remember, everything is constructed from distributivity pullbacks. So everything lo looks a bit like the definition of a distributivity pullback. Mm. It looks it looks a bit like you're uh, you have a polynomial and then you have a sort of vertical morphism on the left or something. Right, I mean this is my part of some confusion, so maybe I know. This is a key that this exists. Yeah, and that's, okay, that's something sorry, I'll talk about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Right, so I'm going to say, like, why am I taking a map sigma from SI? So, this is like 3, for example, which looks like this. Yeah, and why? And then maybe you, you have like two things up with X and one thing with Y. Right, and then we want the um, X by Y term. So, this is one angle. Right, and so, yes, to um, Raphael's question about these groups that exist, 
or even part of Ansel. And it's an open question there, it's all with me for all these terms here. Results in the so, sorry, Charles, yeah. I'm being a bit stupid. In the definition, this map sigma from f to i, yeah. is that an input or is that, I mean, is that, is that, com, is that the order? Is this the thing you're constructing is the right. diagram or the map from f to i? If you have a, if you have a polynomial one variable and you want to construct there, like order three term, you say that to be three. So what about the, like multi-verbal case? I want the x squared y term. Right, so that happens not from f to i, which is the same x one to y, which is the x squared y term. Okay. Yeah. So to prove is that the thing is liquid is being closed. You can need a different kind of sum. Then all this is still the point of end just a second or the one that's or the end in terms of this. And so when I say end here, I just think end copies of the terminal object. Right, and so what does homogeneous mean here? Well pretend that we didn't have the sigma, you just take the order f times a polynomial. Right. If, you, if you just take, say, the order three times of a polynomial, you get the x squared y, you get the y cubed, the x y squared, and so on. You get a homogeneous term of order three, like when you ignore the sigma. So, why does this exist? Right. Given these homogeneous terms, it should be possible to just Sort of pull back along this thing and recover an individual time that I haven't proven on yet. Okay, so let's see what the, the what, why does the order two term, for example, of a polynomial exist? Well, given a polynomial, let's This property of being like one of these terminal diagrams, like you have this property of the distributivity callbacks, and right? so you can prove that these like, do exist at least in the order, order n case. Right? So, I mean, here you get the property of the order, order two terms, for example, and the idea is you, you use the distinct pairs to extract the bias of the order two. Just to check that the diamond is going So this f is 2. Oh, you, yeah, and this is where now. Yeah, the f is 2. So that's a point of time. So, so that, that, that's so, Yeah, at the top left, that's 2. Okay, and that's 2. I and. Yeah, yeah, this will be a map from like 2 or something. Yeah. Okay, so that's what
Yeah. Well, I was going to mention that actually safety is like an infinite family of um, parallel between like hydrogen strands and like polynomial techniques one at a time. I won't have time to do it. Um, the, uh, the okay, is, uh, straight. So you have technical objects. And the first. And I would probably just say the part of uh, the agents coming on. I don't have the time to get the agents now. So we are going to get the agents coming on. So we are going to get the agents coming on. Then don't be satisfied. So this is what I'm going to do in the pullback program. So W satisfies 2 from 3 in what sense? Alright, and if you compose two, two, any two maps. Is that true for dense monos? Among monos. Among, among monos, yeah. Among monos. Well, if you have three, if you have a composable pair of morphisms, you need. Oh, right. Yeah, I think Yeah, are you saying if the composite is a dense mono and the back one is a dense mono and the front one is a dense mono? Yeah, so it has some problem like that. Yeah, so it'd be slightly more complicated then. So, I have but so you can that. cancel on both sides for dense monos, that's what you're saying. I mean, I think that's not something I need to check there. But... Okay. Just because, like, I'm not sure if Banabu uses that sort of. I don't think Banabu. In, in homotopy theory, when you say two, from, two out of three, right. you mean two out of three in any possible choice of ways. Well, I think. Well, yeah, uh, what, what was Banabu's two out of three? Uh, well, what are his examples again? What sort of things is he thinking about? So, when he was talking about. Uh, I'm not sure if his two out of three requires both sides of yeah. that. Yeah, so I'll have to just double check his definition in yeah. this paper. Yeah. Right, so anyway, the point is that we have the, enough axioms to give us some of the, um, the calculus of right practice to solve. We get enough. <clears throat>
I'm going to touch on the right track name. And the other name. And more things in the middle. This is the end. This is the end. Anything? We don't have this kind of room. Let's find out the localization is the next position quite. I don't want to have time to prove that here, I just say it, but I improve it. The reason I think this is okay is because you know, these things are one of the and remember the strip distributivity pullbacks involving one of the public match properties like pi over mono over mono. When you pile along mono, that pretty much is out of it. You can use those nice properties of the simplicity callback, and it's not hard to construct the simplicity callback in this localization. Bit of a pity calculation. Maybe this is the desirability. If I just put in place, that's the same kind of sum. You have one more given than I have. The convention of A. Then we can prove that it's not from A plus not A to give from B to F one more. Then you might say that the map A to X is part of I have like 10 more minutes. <laughs> So I just the function of the product for the rules. There's lots of examples of product for the rules, so it's not too confusing. So we're going to see quite a few rules in one variable if you want to see two. And the product is E1. 
the uh, the V1 That's a simple example of this, which we will use, but it really makes this the case when there's a product of P and just the identity map on the demo. Right, this is an example of our mix drive, this is now in two states. Right, so right, this is the following your conquer, this is some that's 3B. We can just need to turn there. That's going to give us this is not going to be in the state. And the point of your function will just be right here in the house by one. Well. That's what that derivative is. This is uh, the of the paper with um, Rabbit and Blossom and Nani. I mean, this is not quite how that writer that was spelled in the actual shit of science paper. So, why is that involved? I don't agree. The derivative of uh, B given by the linear address for the right address is multiplying by this quantum one. So you can, you can work out what the derivative is. What is this derivative? So we can use my A to B. The derivative of B of K. Again, we squared on the square B. So this means that the thing has B is a B. This is the denigration of the line. So as a remark, this is taken as a derivative. I mean, all my conversation, right? Have a unit of the function. So that's why I'm going to say dp. So one is dp. So why do we almost have a unit? So we're going to take the channel pair. Dp. With a diagonal consolidation of the diagonal. I guess I'll get to the A squared A plus B. And this map, I'll do this DP and so on. But so remember, DP goes from this variable to A, and times 1 just means you're having the the domain, domain. Right, so the domain, that's what these are in, plus e is e. Right, so the point is, if this, the map diagram is just discardable, meaning that this stuff is an ISO, then we do have a map. It's just pull back square, giving ourselves a coding. Right, so the, the derivative is 
exist whenever this plugin uh, is decided. So this is a categorical version of Red paper. Right, so what's the difference in this? Well, We will localize them by the exact polymorphism. And I said before that the supply is going outside. That's one end. I just mean in the localization. Nice. But all polynomials have to. So you might so just to adopt this definition a bit by now we're requiring so if something takes place in this say poly E W E right then your derivative will always exist and then and when they exist in the sense of the third will be the same definition. Right, so it gives a more general definition of what which will always exist now. So maybe I can finish with a quick check. Look out, say the polynomial comes up. Positive, positive, right? It's going to be. I'm going to show the polynomial functor. I could sum it up. Four elements in the domain. And x is currently five. The bit to little in here. And the first part has to be a little as well. And the second part has to be something different. Right, so this would be an e minus one, that could be something different. So then this is the sub object of the pullback, which makes four things one, say, fiber. That would be the to the line around k. Right, so we can simplify this. Something over. Of e, which is the same as the sum of the to e. And d, e, d, that that here will be d. Sorry, we can find by a, b here, so that's it. d, 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 Right, and then this is just the derivative of the polynomial function of A. So maybe I'll swap that. Thanks very much. Uh, any questions? Okay. So I, I have a question. So, so we define these uh, terms of order, whatever, it, so in general. And then what about order? So, so then you get some expression for two. Yeah. It's, it's, it seems very much related to this, right? Yes, it, it is related to derivatives. So that's my second question. My first question is what about order zero? Because you said something about constant terms earlier. Yeah, yeah, the constant term okay, case. Yeah, actually, it's, it's, it's really easy to, to verify that construction is the terminal theme of, of order zero. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this, this negation thing. Yeah, 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 okay. And the second, so my second question, so, so, you, so you obtain this formula for the, for the general for general term, like this n term, order n term, from the variable. Ah, uh, no, or is it because? Yeah, I say that's, that's a good question, but actually, I'm not sure how I feel. So, I mean, you'd like to just kind of differentiate like f times, and then it's got a constant term. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the problem is when you do that, you're, you're multiplying by stuff, and we don't really have a good division here. Right, so that's the problem with. Yeah. yeah. So, that's the, the same problem with like integration. But somehow, when you have these uh, disjoint, uh, disjoint sums, so then you can get the. Can divide by taking a pullback and then from one, maybe, to you. Yes. Maybe one guess, I think. Mean. Yeah, well, in, um, I mean, towards the end of the bird paper, when it's doing integration, it was assuming that we had um, a co equalizers of, of polynomials, like the partition maps. And if you have that, you have some sort of division. Go ahead, yeah. yeah no, uh, uh, I don't know how, how, how good of a question it is after all, because I'm trying to parse a few things uh, at the beginning of the talk as well. But, and, uh, so the double negation uh, is, is one of many modalities right, that one can define. So, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, so there's a general theory of modalities, which are orthogonal factorization system with a uh, fullback stable left class. Uh, and in this case, it satisfies a bit more. Um, and you can, there's a general theory of that. Uh, you can always show that these always give you like the localizations always also left, uh, locally location closed. And uh, so the question would be how special is the double negation here? Well, how important is that role? Could you replace it with some other modalities? Uh, um, work with those instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if, if those are like pullback stable and everything. Yeah, they are. So, so again, like so, they they will be pullback. Everything will be pullback stable. Yeah. But of course, I mean, certain things are quite specific. To your framework, I mean, right? You start with an strict initial object, and you work with uh, push forward pullback, which is very specific to the polynomial yeah. setup, right? So I suppose uh, there are some specifics there. But so, so my first naive question was, can you just do the same game with a different modality? And probably not. Uh, but maybe then you would have to define polynomial. Like maybe you can define for modality O O polynomial functors, which are kind of right uh, defined correspondingly. Um, but, but I don't know how much sense that now makes. I'm trying to think about it. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give something quite different to like derivatives. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I also can imagine that, I mean, most, that some of it, I mean, uh, uh, again, the theory of uh, modalities in general, but not of double, double negation in particular. Uh, it's also studied, right, obviously, in logic uh, and being logic, doing locally Cartesian closed categories, right? Have the uh, an internal extensional type theory, uh, and uh, this theory of modalities, negation, double negation, as, a, as an example, has also been studied uh, in that context quite extensively, right? This uh, even homotopy type theory, and, uh, accordingly, locally Cartesian closed whatever categories. Um, and I can imagine that a lot of this also uh, can be looks very nice in the internal language when uh, things actually look like polynomials. Um, I see. Do you have a paper on that? Or do you know, know a paper? Well, I know a paper. I mean, so there's this paper by Ulrike uh, um, uh, Schumann and Spitters, the modalities and homotopy type theory. So everything is homotopy, homotopy, right? Yeah. Um, but it certainly applies to everything ordinary as well, I think. When, so yeah, when you're forming the localization, you're doing the localization in E rather than monos in E. So you can look at the category E itself yeah. or the category of just monos. Right. And which are you looking at? Yes, I mean, that's, this, this is probably what I would to check, but yeah. You, you, you can just define it directly, which actually stands. Right. Okay. So then, no, I was just thinking about. It. So if you do set with, then the dense monos are just the monos, right? Is that right? Or uh, no? The dense monos are all the isolates. 
Ah, okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, I'm talking rubbish there. Okay. 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 Any, uh, any further comments or questions? And thanks again for a very interesting talk. <laughs> Um, and that's probably the last talk we'll have for the summer, I think. So, uh, okay. So, thanks to everyone for coming. And see you next time.